turn to remove, like, in that way, <laughs> counterclockwise. So, oh yeah, and it does that, like, every three seconds. So there's some sort of like tool that we can use, like a club or like a, <laughs> a sword. Should we try like, I don't know, like a wrench or something? A wrench? I don't know, a <laughs> Phillips do head sorry, screwdriver? Sorry, what do you think a wrench does? Uh, a wrench fixes things. <laughs> it's very manly, you know? So we just wanted to update everyone on how things were going with our foster care process. Still don't have kids. We still don't have kids. Sorry. <laughs> I will say though, like having have, we've been doing this for about a year and I feel like the excitement that I had when we started the process is a little different now. I, I think we expected to have kids by now. The setbacks, well, each understandable in its own right has been a little bit disappointing. Yeah. We're getting really close. Our home study is done, like they certified our home. We have to have background checks for everywhere that we've lived. Uh, and so our, my Tennessee and your Arizona background checks got lost, and so we had to redo them. We just have a lot of paperwork. It takes a lot of time. Um, it's not as streamlined as a process as one would hope. Mm, understandably so. Um, so we're, we're getting close, though. Yeah. So we've been able to get a few things that we've collected just from friends that have said, oh, we don't need these things anymore. So we have a little tiny but mighty. Snuggle is real. You get that? I do get it. Mini pooper. I think it's adorable. We can't do much planning because we don't know what age we're gonna get. Um, birth through five was a, just a really big, wide age gap. <laughs> yeah. I've got approval to go part-time at work for a little bit. So I'm going to be at home with the kids for a little bit when we get them. Um, them? Them, them being a gender neutral oh. singular pronoun. Okay. This is 2017. We have gender, we have okay. gender neutral singular pronouns. Good save. I also am going to law school part time. And I feel like there are a lot of things that we do that I, we could easily incorporate having a kid with. I feel like not everything we do is like anti child. Uh, so our advice for people that are going through the foster care process um, is definitely, for one, know that you're not the first people to do it and that there are other people that are like you that are both going through the process and have recently done it and uh, there's a lot of people that you can lean on for support if you need it. And also be patient with the process. The whole thing takes a decent amount of time uh, and it's going to be longer than you think that it's going to be. Yeah. Um, but. Do whatever you can to keep your momentum and keep your excitement and know that uh, eventually it's going to be worth it in the end. And also that you're doing something really great. Like, in the end, it's going to be worth it. You're doing, you're going to help a kid in their life and you're going to be very important to them. And that's, that's doing something really good. So we'll update again once our lives are completely different uh, and let everyone know how things are going. But... Um, for now, we're just kind of waiting until uh, we get our first phone call. Our paperwork is done, our house has been inspected, um, our cats are furious, but they don't know. They were kind of always furious, I guess. Thanks for everything you guys have done so far, for the clothes that you sent and for the advice that you've given and for all the support, um, because I don't know that we could have done this without all of you guys being uh, as excited about this as we are. Um, so thanks again, and uh, if you have any questions or if you have anything that you want to, um, to say, let us know. Yeah, agreed.